All right, what to do, YouTube? We're back with another one, 803 Custom Game. Y'all already know what time it is. Y'all already know we at the shop. 803 Custom, 908 7th Road. I need some of work done. Make sure y'all come see me, man. Give me a call at 803-955-1887. Hey, today, got something special. Boom! We got a 1996 Impala SS. Uh, it's I'm missing it somewhere. Oh shit, yeah. Yeah. 96 Apollo SS. Yes sir, she clean and she for sale. But today y'all know how we do it. We about to put some, uh, put a, a, a double den radio in it. Um, Change the front door speakers. And of course, change the six by nines in the back, so. Uh, he got some, um, yes, he got a Pioneer in dash. <clears throat> got a Pioneer in dash. Some Pioneer six and a half. And we have some Alpine six and a half for the front door. Look pretty nice, look pretty good. So, um, before I get start, before I get started busting it down, I just want to bring y'all with me, show y'all what's going on, show y'all the process. You get ready to take the front door panels off and uh, get the six and a half mounted up. But no amp or nothing going in, just factory replacement. So y'all stay tuned. So, as you can see, we got like a four by six right here. Get ready to pop off. Takes a seven millimeter. It's four seven millimeter bolts. You got to take out to get the speaker out. So, we get our adapter. Get it up out of there. We're going to make a custom six and a half plate for it to fit. Customer requested that I do my thing. So, y'all know how I do it. I'm going to do my thing. Hold on. You know, you know how they say leave leave it up to the to the boss. Leave it up to me. I'm gonna get it done. Y'all already know what time it is. Stop playing. Stop playing crazy. I know where to come at. 908 something room. Voila. So, since it got the, the factory connector on it, I'm gonna cut this and solder it to the new speaker and use it so I can plug and play on the factory harness instead of cutting the factory harness. It worked perfect fine. So you got it cut off, use this pigtail for the new speaker. Of these, of course, put the wire back, put it on the end. Hey, All right, man. So we're gonna make a custom bracket for it, use half inch. Excuse me, excuse my camera is making noise, man. Alright y'all, so we got the ring cut. You gotta cut it, um so it'll be like this. With a screw right here, a screw right here, and of course the six and a half fall in the middle of it. So we're gonna um, <coughs> excuse me, put it on the router, make another one, and uh, we have one for the other side. <coughs> I'm the only man here right now, so 
I'm trying to walk y'all through this, but got it on got it on top of my plate. You screw it to the top. <coughs> Excuse me. The bottle of water. Like I'm saying, you screw it to the top. Break two screws, screw it to the top. Grab my bit back. Screw it to the top and you get it going, man. Hey, I don't play no games. I'm having this done in probably about the next hour. So, cousin, come pick this car up. If it don't be sold but before it leave. But hey, y'all stay tuned with me, dog. About to get it done. Uh, so, as y'all can see, we get the door pedals back on. We got the drive on. <clears throat> getting ready to put the passenger side back on. Before I put the passenger side back on, let y'all see the aftermath. Of, I did it. So just in case y'all want to get it, get a. Uh, I did. You can buy these plates, but. You can make them too, so um, that's what I did. Just really custom made a um, six and a half plate. And currently in this video, y'all might see a new buyer because they just called and say they wanted to buy it. So um, y'all might be seeing that too. Yep, y'all might be seeing that too. So y'all gotta stay tuned, man. Stay tuned for the footage, man. Make sure y'all get in that comment section down below and tell me if y'all like this video so far. Stay tuned, we got more and more and more to go. So let's get it. Any best buy just now? Picked up the, uh, the dash kit. Time to go throw it back together. And it's done, so that's all I need it. Um, no way in that turbo civic. Update, update, update. <clears throat> Got the old six by nines out the red deck. Um, you get to pop the covers off. And there's four seven millimeter bolts that holds it in. The plugs right here. So we're gonna get that pigtail cut off, put some connectors on it, and get those new six by nines dropped in, so we can get a nice sound. And the last thing we'll be doing to this car is uh. Installing the end dash, but I just went ahead and replaced all the speakers before um, I took the radio out. So, panels back on, door panels back on. We're gonna get these uh, six by nines out the box. Get these six by nines out the box. And of course, they come with the connectors. You can use these. Like I said, these speeds are not on the amp, so it's just factory replacement, so those wires will work for them. They even came with a 6x9 adapter, but we're not going to use it. Actually, I've never seen them come with an adapter like that, so. Six by nine. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy cut off and replaced. Can't get no more free, Randy. Let's 
down, boy. Yes, yeah, what's up? That's gonna be it for the 96. OG, Impala SS with the flow shifter. Um, we did a double dent in here, changed the 6x9s out right there, and did some custom uh, plate for 6 and a half to fit in the doors. Everything went back factory. The only thing is, you know, this car is a little bit older, so. The dash, the crack right here, this one right here, but it was already cracking. Anyway, me and the customer already discussed that before. Through, so. Like I said, man, if y'all like this video, man, make sure y'all like, share, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell button for more content, man. Stay tuned. We're on to the next. Peace.